Hey guys, in the midst of the novel COVID-19 pandemic, DUT has made things so much safer and easier for everyone. DUT students can do all sorts of things online, like register, check their exam results, and see the exam timetables. Listen, you can register for both semester one and two at the beginning of each academic year, but it doesn't end there. You can even make payments if you have a credit or a debit card. You have access to the self-service student enabler system from the comfort of your home. Step one, to access enabler from the DUT website, open the following link in your browser and click on the students tab. Step two, under the student services tab, click on student self-service. Step three, in this screen, enter your student number and PIN to log in. Please note that your PIN will be preset starting with the number 9 followed by your birth month and day. Should you experience any problems with the PIN, please click on the Request a PIN tab and the PIN will be sent to your personal email address. If you can't find the email, please check your spam folder. Alternatively, contact the Department of Student Admissions for assistance. Step 4. Ensure that your personal details are correct. Thereafter, click Registration tab to display all the submenus. Each process is dependent on the previous one, so click them in the order they appear. Step 5. The Registration Restrictions tab will show you your different statuses at DUT. A student must not have any stop registration statuses to be able to register. For financial status issues and other statuses, contact the Department of Student Admissions for assistance. A student must have an allow web registration status to be able to register on the web. Ensure that your minimum registration fee is paid prior to progressing with the online registration process. To make online payments, follow these steps. Note, this option allows for debit and credit card payment as well as EFT payment. Step 6. Click on Rules and Regulations. You have to read and accept the institutional rules by clicking on the button before proceeding to the next step. Click on I accept to continue with the online registration. Please read the rules before accepting them. The comprehensive rule books are available on the DUT website. Please take note, the acceptance to the rules and regulations is mandatory and serves as your electronic signature. This indicator is stored on your student file and can be used as legal agreement in a dispute or a disciplinary matter. If you do not agree, please request assistance from the Office of the University Registrar. Step 7. Once you have accepted the rules and regulations, the following screen will open automatically. You need to click on the next section, Submit Registration. Check that you are registering for the correct qualification, offering type, block code, and study period. Click on the drop-down menu and enter your employment status. Then click on Save and Continue. Step 8. All compulsory and elective modules are pre-selected for you. You cannot untick these modules or change these modules. Click on Save and Continue. Step 9. This screen shows you the selected subjects, mode of study, academic period, credits, and attendance type. Note that you may not register for subjects where the prerequisites has not been met. For example, you will not be able to progress to subject 1B if you fail subject 1A. The system will automatically remove or cancel subject 1B. Then click on Continue. Step 10. This screen shows you the total costs incurred for the registration. The system will now provide you with the fee details 
for the subject that you have selected. Click on Accept Registration to accept the registration and the costs incurred for this registration. If you click on Restart Process, note that you are not yet registered. Step 11. Please enter your personal and banking details below. All fields marked with an asterisk are compulsory. If you do not know your branch code, please use one of the universal branch codes from the table. All NSFUS funded students must have a valid bank account. Step 12. This screen allows you to view, edit, and verify your address details, as well as enter new address details. To view your address, click on the blue address type. Example, postal address or study address. You may also change and update your address details here. Click on new record if you want to add a new address. Please ensure that you update your address details accurately and timelessly as the university would use these details to correspond with you. If your address details are incorrect, you may be missing out on important information that the university has sent to you. Address validation continues. Click on the drop-down menu to view the different address types. Select a type and enter the details and save. Follow this process for all the different types of addresses you want to enter. Step 13. This screen allows you to view, edit and verify other important contact information, such as cell phone numbers, medical emergency cell phone numbers, home telephone numbers and next of kin contact numbers. Click on the drop-down menu to view the different communication types. Select a type and enter the details and save. Follow this process for all the different types of communications you want to enter. Please ensure that you update your contact details accurately and timelessly as the university would use these details to contact you or your next of kin as well as send SMSs to your cell phone for important and urgent messages. If your contact details are incorrect, you may be missing out on important information that the university has sent to you. Note, it is important that you provide the university with a medical emergency cell number which must be different from your cell phone number so that we can contact someone in case of an emergency. Step 14. To email proof of registration, Click on Email Proof of Registration to email a proof of your registration details. Enter your email address. You will require this document and your ID document to get your student card from Campus Protection Services. Should you require a printed copy of your proof of registration, click on Proof of Registration PDF. Click on this icon to print. Step 15. Click on Process Status. Ensure that you have completed all compulsory steps in this process. Once completed, click on Next Step. This screen will appear. Click OK. Congratulations! You have now successfully completed all the steps in the online registration process. Make sure you log out of your session. The system is designed to empower you as a student and provide you with useful information. Don't forget to stay safe, sanitize, and adhere to the COVID-19 regulations. Until then, I am DUT.